if another set of pec flies is not getting you excited or you feel that you're not quite hitting your rear delts well today i'm going to review the atx pec fly rear delt machine one of their latest additions now this machine is perfect for personal trainers or small gyms it offers two quality exercises that can be performed by inexperienced trainers with minimal supervision and it takes up very little space it is also perfect for the garage having something like this just gives you an extra spark to your training. So why is this machine so good? Simple, it's just the design and the build. It is so smooth and I'll be highlighting all the different features that contribute to this and the adjustability and the movement just allows you to really target the, your desired muscle group. So we'll have a look at the build. We'll start off with the, the cams. The cams have been perfectly designed. As you go through the, the range of motion, you will not feel any inconsistencies in the resistance. Plus they've got five start and stop positions. So whichever body shape you are, you can get yourself into the correct position for full range of motion. Now you adjust it with a commercial quality pull pin. The arms, all pivot on bearings. So whole way through, everything's on bearings. So just as you go through the movement, there's no notchiness. It's just nice, clean and smooth. Now the handles are a great example of the level of detail that's in this machine. The, the grips are custom ATX. They've got the ATX logo and they just pivot nice and smoothly as well. The horizontal grips have been knurled and it's just not normal knurling. It's really good quality. It's better than some of the cheaper barbells that are on the market. Totally unnecessary. You're not going to be doing heaps of weight on a rear delt, but just a nice feature that just shows you that they've gone to that extra length to deliver a quality machine. Another completely unnecessary feature on this machine are the aluminium pulleys. Uh, complete overkill. You're not going to lift a lot of weight on this machine, so you don't need to have aluminium pulleys, but they just make it smooth, makes it look good, and they're never going to break. For me, the standout design feature is uh, the weight carriage. Firstly, the upright, the chrome work is just so nice, looks good, and you know it's going to last. The carriage has got these four nylon uh, rollers that are on bearings. It's just a level up from the old designs where you'd have a weight carriage sliding on nylon bushes with two chrome uprights. Those weight carriages, the traditional nylon bush ones, if you set them upright and maintain them, they're, they're so smooth. This is just a level up. The other feature when they design this carriage is that they've shifted the weight horns forward. So that makes the weight plates inward of the machine so it makes the footprint more compact so you can squeeze it up against the wall. Another feature on the weight carriage is the band peg provision. It is a great addition and just another example of the lengths they've gone to with the quality. The band peg where the, the band will pivot on has got a, a rolling sleeve so the two attachment points are static but where the band pivots it's on a roller so that'll protect your resistance band it's just a small feature that does work and adds to the smoothness as well um, adding a resistance band to the machine just gives you more resistance at the peak contraction personally i don't use it that much i find that just holding whether it's a rear delt or pec fly at peak contraction is enough for me but it's just another way you can you know, spice up your workout. And finishing off, to get yourself into the right position, the seat has four adjustment positions. You adjust it once again with a commercial spring pin so you can get or get yourself into the right position. And finally, even the rubber feet are custom, small detail, they're really good quality. And, and if you compare them to cheaper ones, they're just a lot softer, so they'll level out a little bit better than, than cheaper ones. So. On the functionality scale, this machine only delivers two exercises, which are both only small muscle groups. That is why this machine is by no means a necessity. But what makes this machine attractive to personal trainers, small gyms and serious home users is its compact footprint. When you're not using it, it is only 106 centimetres deep and 75 centimetres wide at the base. But when you get the arms out, 
you need 165 centimeters. Now the advantage with this arrangement, as far as space is concerned, like you can you can get a, a machine that is built relatively low to ground, right next to it, pretty close for for a home user. So like a T-bar row or um, a sissy squat or anything that's sort of set low to the ground, you can squeeze in. You just got to make sure that when you've got the arms out, it doesn't doesn't conflict there. Okay, now the drawbacks. The drawback with this machine is plain and simple, the price. This machine is expensive for just two isolation exercises. I've seen absolute crap ones. They sell between five to $600, but personally, I'd rather stick to my dumbbells or resistance bands. At this price, some people would expect a weight stack, but a weight stack on a $1,500, around a $1,500 pec fly rear delt machine is basically gonna be a crap $500 machine, but with a weight stack. Now for generic machines, you know, like not, not your high end brand label machines, a pec fly rear delt is gonna set you back a minimum of two and a half thousand and upwards from that. Plus also they do tend to take up a lot more space. This is one machine in my opinion, that least benefits from a weight stack. For starters, you don't need a lot of weight. When Lee Priest was using this machine, he reckoned that in his peak, he probably would have maxed out around 40 kilos. In my younger days, I would have gone a lot heavier, but even just doing this show on you now, I'm getting a nice little pump and burn. So I'll probably go the same at that again. What's that on it? Is that a 10 on each side, is it? Or probably one more 10. Cause like I said, it's not a, mass building and like I said you're just getting a nice stretch and the main thing is just getting a good stretch and good squeeze plus it's not the machine that you go for PRs on you can fatigue the pec or rear delt by just controlling the rep or holding at peak contraction so when you're doing your set if you think oh I haven't quite got enough weight on just slow it down or and hold it a bit do more reps you don't have to get up and change the weight the other drawback of this machine is that the packaging is huge this will add further freight costs when you get it delivered so where possible get it delivered to your work or get it delivered to a depot and pick it up from there I mean that's slightly offset that you know the, the arms are pre-assembled that's why the packaging is huge but it's just one of those necessary evils with gym equipment. Sometimes the packaging is on the larger side. In summary, the best way to sum up this machine is by one of the reviews left on the German site. Basically, they said it was top quality, excellent movement, and incomparable in their experience with Cybex and Gym 80 machines. Both of those machines would be at least three times the price, I would say, at least four times over here. Um, but obviously the downside on those machines, they'd come with a weight stack so you wouldn't have to change plates. 